So for dependency inversion principle, basically we shouldn't have high level objects depend on low level implementations. And let me show you that in an example. So here you can see we have a problem, right? So we have our class called online store, which takes this payment processor as a dependency. And if we want to make a payment, in this case, you can see we're basically calling the payment processor that make payment with PayPal. And you can see that this method is really specific for this class. But in the future, if I want to integrate or change the payment processor to something like Stripe, in this case, you can see the function name is make a payment with Stripe. In this case, I also have to change what's inside of this online store class, right? Which also defeats the open close principle as well, right? Open for extensions, close for modifications. In this case, we're defeating that principle as well so in this case what we can do instead is we can basically use dependency version to solve this problem now here's what a solution looks like so i basically created an interface right called ipayment processor and this processor basically has this function called make payment right which takes the total and uh, you can see here for the other payment processor right or third-party payment api you can see what we can do is we can basically add additional function in this case for example make a payment in this case what i can do is that inside of this function i can basically call this dot make a payment with paypal and uh, same thing for this one as well right i can basically pass in the total and for this one i can basically call this dot make payment with stripe and i pass in total to basically compute the payment in this case you can see here for our dependency it's going to be i payment processor and uh, if i want to make a payment i can basically call the make a payment function in this case we don't have to change anything that's inside of this class if we want to add or change additional payment processor